YC TV. Thank you for tuning in. Crack and Packs, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dean. Um, today's episode, whew, insane deals, ludicrous deals, brought to you by GameStop. What? After the break. Welcome back. Insane deals. Now, first at the top, I have to give a shout out to uh, my boy, Saffron Olive on Twitter. And uh, it's going to be kind of hard to make out, so I'm going to go ahead and put a uh, graphic up. Uh, Ian also confirmed this. GameStop is selling Magic at a 50% discount at the moment. People leaving with bundles, fat packs, for around 15 bucks. That was on Reddit, posted by Saffron Olive. Uh, Ian D confirmed with his photo, picked up a bundle for $16.97. I don't know if you could really read that. Um, yeah, uh, so I was at work. It was like 12.30. Immediately dropped the phone into my pocket, and I ran out the door and checked out my local GameStop. Now, the first in the photo I'll put up right now, you can see that the first GameStop was closed. Very disheartened. Uh, I ran into the next nearest store, and wow, thankfully I did because insane deals. Now, I noticed a few other people pointed this out later on that uh, on top of the 50% off, they were ringing up and getting an additional 50% off. Now, I read that after I got home from the second GameStop stop, and uh, that was true because, whew, what did I find? Uh, at the first uh, successful GameStop run, uh, we had the 1697 Ether Revolt Booster Box, marked 1697. Uh, at the counter, this rang up for $8. You can see it in the photo right now. Uh, it was like $8.97, let me just check my receipt here. And are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? 10 packs of boosters, eat the revolts. Come on, come on, come on. This is like a $34 product. After the fact, maybe $25 on Amazon, eBay, $8 all day. Um, and then uh, this is probably the most exciting. I'm gonna probably blow the load a little early, but. <sighs> Booster box, booster box. Marked down to $49. I took it to the register, additional 50% off, $24.99 before tax for a booster box. Uh, I'm sorry, Rudy, uh, Alpha Investments, anyway, find a better deal. Holy shit, $24 for a booster box. I'm not even gonna open it. I'm probably gonna keep it sealed for a while and uh, I'm gonna wait a little bit because honestly, this was my first set and I really have a uh, nostalgic love for this set. I love the vampires, the werewolves, the classic horror themes, Eldritch Moon, Liliana, favorite planeswalker. <sighs> I might actually just do some sealed with my friends, my play group, do some constructed stuff, do some drafting, $24. I'm gonna go run out the front door and run around the block a few times. I'll be right back. Wow, 24, I, I just can't believe this is real. So that's that. Um, so exciting, the highs were so highs that after work, I had to go scrambling. I did have to go back for lunch, um, from lunch back to work. But uh, I found at my second stop on the way home, a gift box, Kaladesh. Um, you can't really see it on here, but I'll put up the receipt right now. $5.90, Kaladesh fat pack. Love the fat packs. Criminally, I would say these aren't being produced anymore, and that is truly a crime. It's disgusting. Wizard, please make these again. Wizards of the Coast. Great product. Five booster packs of Kaladesh. Possible masterpiece inventions. Uh, let's get some Gear Hulks, some Torrential Gear Hulks. That would be great. Uh, I just love Kaladesh. Awesome set. And also sitting on the shelf at the last stop after work, around 6 six thirty p.m. Eldritch Moon Fat Pack, uh, 16 bucks. For whatever reason, that store was not ringing up the additional 50% off, but I was not gonna say no. So for this video, I mean, Jesus, $16 for a $35 product, insane. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna keep the Eldritch Moon stuff sealed for later, for later date. And after this break, we are going to crack my favorite block, Kaladesh. I know I probably, I might be contradicting myself because I just said Eldritch Moon was my favorite. That was the nostalgic first release. But let's check out 10 booster packs of Ether and five of Kaladesh right now. So here we go. Kaladesh block, first half, second half. Not gonna lie, super excited. So we'll start with Kaladesh first. Let's go in sequential order. Let's get that off frame. Let's get the shadows out of the way. Let's be professional. Um, holy shit. So we're gonna crack the $8 gift pack. Um, truly, like I said before, one of my favorite products. I mean, are you kidding me? Uh, let's get this open. Five bucks, excuse me, five packs. 
Not exactly a lot, but I say for the original $20 MSRP, you're getting five packs. You're getting a storage solution. We're getting land pack. We're getting dividers and uh, to be completely honest, the envy of my friends, uh, everybody's like, hey man, where do you get these dope stickers for, for IDing your deck boxes, your cards, your uh, your holders? Um, I got it from the gift box, and quite frankly, a $5 deal. Are you kidding me? What do we get inside? Um, you get this gorgeous box. Kaladesh, Shahili Ra on the front. I think I said that right, if not, Shahili Ray, Ra. Um, you get three storage slots. Um, Honestly, already this is longer than the uh, the fat box, the fat packs, the bundles. So we're getting a wider storage solution. We're getting five booster packs. And uh, for my money, I mean, these are amazing. I have three of these. I love these. I wish these were still being produced. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide out the boosters. Let's check out the swag. Uh, so we get some really kind of fine, hard dividers. Now, um, I will give them credit. This is not does not seem to be bent at all out of the box. But uh, Chief of the Foundry, not exactly the best foil promo that you want. Not even a rare. I believe I think it's just like an uncommon. Um, kind of cool. It's like an artifact lord. Uh, three drop, colorless. However, not exactly playable in a lot of standard sets and modern. You also get this very small, laughable land pack. I mean, I love the artwork in Kaladesh. Some of my favorite islands. The islands in this set are fantastic. So that's kind of cool, not exactly enough to really kind of build a constructed deck out of the box. Like you say, like a bundle you would get, like I think of the land packs in here. Uh, you just get a huge land pack, 80 cards. Not the case here, but let's check out the booster packs. Five packs, possibility at a masterpiece invention. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing. I would settle for a torrential gear hulk. Um, I would be happy with a Verderous Gear Hulk. So, Gear Hulks are possibilities. If you get a Chandra Planeswalker, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, let's crack some packs. So, let's see what we get. We're looking for $5 worth of value. Will we get there? Will we get there, ladies and gentlemen? Make your bets at home. Now, in the comments, uh, let me know. Did you guys, did anybody partake in these insane GameStop deals? I feel with all of the hullabaloo over this weekend, uh, this was really a gift from the Magic Gods to the players. Um, just insane deals. I mean, I think we deserve that after all the bullshit we've been through this weekend. Um, where you stand, um, I really don't care. I feel like everything in the uh, Magic the Gathering ethos right now in the online community kind of sucks, man. It really kind of sucks, but uh, I'm not going to touch on any of that. Let's get back to the packs. So we'll blaze through these commons. Uh, as far as the uncommons go, I don't remember a lot of value. I don't think there's nothing too crazy. There's no fatal push, much like the Ether Revolts and first rare. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, mythic, kind of cool. Absolutely the worst Gear Hulk. I mean, I love the artwork. I have the playmat, uh, Victor Adam Meninges, amazing artwork. Uh, the text kind of sucks. Not the best Gear Hulk, but it's a mythic, and it's the uh, Gear Hulk cycle. Five dollars. That's pretty good. I think it's like a two dollar card. Graphics will tell you right here. But uh, moving on to the next pack, blaze through these commons. Ooh, I think that was nine. Went a little bit quick, but I think there might be a foil. Let's check. One, two, Pia Nalar. Awesome. Uh, that's Chandra's mother for the uninitiated. Um, cool card. Um, one red, two colorless. You're getting some artifact synergy. Fun card. I think it's like a dollar. You know, cool. Ooh, no foil. Count, counted that wrong. Pack two, Pia Nalar. So I'm going to say a dollar, two dollars, possibly dollar 25. Pack three. Looking for the masterpiece, looking for gear hulks. Uh, to be quite, you know, to be completely honest, whatever we get, I'm happy with. So, reoccurring theme with the earlier days of the show. Uh, let's pull an ibex. Go back. Awesome card. Black, colorless. Two two. Have an artifact against death touch and plus one. So three two with death touch. Kind of cool. I love Kaladesh. I love the artifacts. Seems like energy is a lot of fun as well. Uncommon Slots, Whisper Weaver Angel, Aetherborn Marauder. Uh, pretty cool deck built around this. I have a 1-1 counter standard deck. I've been talking about it for a while. Let's see if I get enough courage to make a deck brew video. Coming soon. Nice. Sweet. I believe these are called Fastlands, the Fastland cycle. Inspiring Vantage, red and whites. That's got to be like a five, four, three to four or five dollar card. 
Um, it enters the battlefield tap unless you control two or fewer lands. Great to get in your opening hand. Turn two, play, play it right away without coming in the battlefield tapped. Awesome card. And like I was talking about earlier, I mean, come on, the islands in this set are absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if I can get that to focus on my cheap webcam, but uh, whew, whew, holy shit. So I'm gonna say that we probably made our money back so far. So a uh, dollar, dollar, let's say that's like $3. That's at least $5 with the product. Kind of contradicting myself with the graphic overlays. Uh, yeah, so that being said, pack four. Let's check out the common slots. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So no foil. Harsh scrutiny. Amazing uncommon. One drop black. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose creature card from it. That player discards the card, and you get the scry one. So I mean, you get to remove some crazy high, some crazy drops, some monster, you know, some bomb. One drop black. Love it. Maybe a dollar. Maybe fifty cent card. Dynavolt Tower. Wow. Um, people are, you know, questioning the response to that. Not a lot of value. I want to say this is like a 30 to 50 cent card. However, man, oh man, I have a Dynavolt Tower deck that I've been dying to share. I want to share it with you guys soon, so stay tuned for that. I love the card. Swamp. Swamp's not as impressive, gotta be honest. Kind of a dull swamp. I'm assuming that's the under sewers of Kaladesh. Very dark. Bad lighting. Um, last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Chandra pack. Are we going to break a Chandra? Maybe. That'd be dope. Masterpiece. Maybe. I think we're being greedy. Believe we're being greedy. I think that I'm very happy. I gotta be honest. The Inspiring Vantage. Uh, building a Ixalan Dino deck. These drop right in. Red, white, green. That's all day. Love it. Love it. Rivals of Ixalan on the horizon. Looking to beat up. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Beef up the dino deck. No foils. Not the end of the, you know, nothing too crazy there. Common slots are done. Uncommons. Get a little sloppy. Get a little sloppy. And last, ooh, Padim. Console of Innovation. Cool card. I've been honestly tempted to build a commander deck around this. I mean, let's read it. Artifacts you control have hexproof. Love the artifacts. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control the artifact with the highest converted mana cost or tied for the highest converted mana cost draw card with a deck built all around artifacts, the chances of that being a thing is going to happen every time. Those artifacts are hexproof and you draw cards. Kind of cool. I don't know how powerful that commander deck would be, but I'm looking forward to possibly building it. I do have a copy in my Brea commander deck. But, uh, you know, it's not the commander, so it doesn't get out very often. So, Kaladesh. Bang. Gotta be honest. 590. Love the box. Love the dividers. Love the stickers. Everything else is a bonus. I probably would have paid five bucks for that. But hey, we get Inspiring Vantage, Pia Nalar, and Padim. Also a Gearhulk mythic. Cool. Definitely made our money back. And uh, we'll be back with Ether Revolt right now. Pretty excited about this one, guys. Um, Ten booster packs. What are we gonna get inside? Let's find out. Inside the bundle, I don't know about you guys, but I believe I am ready to take the power back. Excuse me, take back the power. Um, wow, Ether Revolts, kind of a fun set, you know? I really enjoy, like I said, the Kaladesh block. Um, as far as these bundles go, I gotta be honest, probably my favorite artwork as far as the bundles go, as far as, you know, recent, recent pieces, uh, the Chandra, the aesthetics, the coloring, the composition, just amazing box. I mean, great stuff here. What else do you get? You also get the Planeswalker. I call these token boxes. You can put like little markers and kind of like things in here. Not exactly perfect for storing cards, as you can see. Uh, a little bit too tall to store cards. I mean, you can store them in this way, but uh, they slide around. Not exactly ideal. I have like about eight of these, so throw that over there. Um, we get our handy dandy theft deter. Throw that over as well. That is nothing. Um, you also get, ladies and gentlemen, a mini poster. I mean, technically it is a poster. It is better than trash, um, but not much. So what do we get? We do get a nice spread, which um, I do enjoy. However, um, there's some heavy creasing. 
So aesthetically saying, uh, you know, it's pretty rough, but I gotta be honest, opposed to just being blank white paper trash, this is cool, pin it on your wall, put it in your locker, do something cool with that. I already did, so. What do you get inside? Um, before we do that, let's check out the book, Player's Guide, I love these. Um, also, you know, awesome breakdown of every card in the set, including like the Planeswalker decks, which is kind of cool to see kind of just what's out there, what, uh, you know, what's available. Top 10 breakdowns, let's see if they got it right. Is Fatal Push? Yeah, Fatal Push is on here. Number five, ladies and gentlemen, it has to be, bar none, the most expensive, uncommon in recent modern history. Um, not this, you know, not the play format modern, but just, you know, last 10, 15 years. I can't remember a fucking uncommon that was like eight bucks. Uh, Mythics, I think Tezzeret finally, at the filming of this video, got up to around $10, eight, eight to 10 bucks. But Mythics are rough. Um, you do get Masterpiece access, which is cool. There's a chance of getting a Masterpiece. But uh, Fatal Push, you might get some Walking Ballista. You might get a, uh, what's the, uh, two drop artifact that great in every freaking uh, tribal deck. Metallic Mimic, we're spacing. I'm excited, I took a break, I might have had a beer. But uh, let's see what we get inside, ladies and gentlemen. Magic the Gathering bundles, I absolutely love these. Uh, MSRP is around 34 bucks. If you wait long enough, um, two, three years after the fact of release, you might be able to pick this for eight bucks at a GameStop. That's what we did. Where's the focus? Focus is rough, and we're back. Yeah, so, uh, okay, spin down counter. Off the bat, love, love, love the blue spin down counters. Uh, don't see a lot of blue, mostly red, green. White's kind of boring. Black is too hard to read, blue's my favorite, so that's cool. You also get the 80 pack LAN pack. Um, awesome, right out of the box. We can build a, you know, if this was my first entry into Magic the Gathering, I could build a standard constructed deck. Um, absolutely, 80 lands, we can build at least a two color deck. That's great to have. You also get the storage box that comes with a mini storage box, which I take out, keep that for storing, and I absolutely fill that up every single time. But let's get to the goodness. Let's not make this video absurdly long. Um, scissors out of the way. This is our frame. Just throwing stuff everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, 10 booster packs of Ether Revolts. Wow. Um, four. I'm going to say the fourth pack is going to be the best. So what we're going to do is we're looking for fatal pushes. Uh, I mean, if we get a masterpiece, I might honestly, legitimately yell, run out of the room, run around the block again. But uh, I will settle for one fatal push. $8 bundle. $8 bundle. So anything that we get will be awesome. So let's get cracking. Let's not make this 100 hours. Let's not make this a five hour long video. Let's go quick. So one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So no foil. I won't do that for every pack, but that's how you figure it out if you have a foil or not. If you have ten black commons, uncommon slots. Thopter. Okay, we're getting really sloppy now. And first rare. Ether Tider Whale. Um, I might have a copy of my sideboard in my Dynavolt Tower deck. Not the best card. Very expensive. It is flying. And it does produce a lot of energy, so there are fun builds. Possible. Not the best, but uh, we'll start off. Pack two. What will we find, ladies and gentlemen? What will we find? No foil. Cogwork Assembler. Lifecraft Awakening. Spire Patrol. Second rare. Midnight Entourage, Etherborn Rogue, two colorless, two black. Other Etherborn, you get plus one one. Not exactly strong tribe, so I don't know if you'd really build around that. I mean, it might be just kind of fun for kitchen table magic. Get a cool Ether tribe going. Um, this is the Lord. It gives your other Etherborn plus one one. Whenever Entourage or another Etherborn you control dies, draw a card, and you lose one life. So you get some card draw, four drop. Not bad. Not bad in the standard, uh, casual, kitchen table magic Etherborn deck. Otherwise, not really playable. Pack three. Love throwing those. Let's keep the set clean. Uh, what do we got on um, comments? Restoration Specialist. 
Perilous Predicament. Rich Scale Tusker. Kind of a fun card. Five drop. Um, in my counter deck, I think I may or may not have referenced that earlier. I had a copy of this. This is a good Verderous Gear Hulk placeholder. Um, if you're playing Kitchen Table Magic, um, if you can't afford the Verderous Gear Hulk, which is like I think seven bucks right now, this is a good replacement. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on each other creature you control. So you're getting those 1-1 counters, combine it with the snake, uh, you're getting two 2-1 counters, uh, two one -one counters. So that's kind of cool. Release the Gremlins. Meh. Meh. So pretty much all junk rares, no good on commons. But uh, for $8 a box, I gotta be honest, it's gonna be really hard for me to complain during this video. So if I do, it's just to fill time space. Don't take it personally. Ooh, I think we got a foil. Merchant's Dock Hand. Yeah. Yeah. Not what you wanna see. And I counted that wrong. Pack four, halfway through the box. What will we find? So yeah, GameStop. I mean, I don't really shop at GameStop. It's really been a long time. Uh, before I really kind of dove into the Magic the Gathering, Ether, I was a huge video gamer. I mean, everybody, it's, I, I gotta be honest, it's gonna be hard to find somebody in their 30s who does not love video games. 20s as well. Whew, gifted Etherborn, nice. Gotta be a dollar, uh, dollar uncommon right now. Probably the best Etherborn card in the tribe. Two drop, two black, which is kind of restrictive, but hey, for two drop, you're getting a 2-3 with Death Touch and Life Link. I mean, this card is bananas if you play black. Love it. Rishkar's Expertise. Nice. Uh, dropped a lot in price. I think it's, uh, at one point in time, this might have been a 4 or $5 rare. I have a foil version of this card, which is kind of cool, but I think currently, which you've already known because the graphic on the side, that's like a dollar card. So. All right, halfway through. Gotta be honest, junk. Uh, pack six. What will we find? Seven, eight, nine, ten. No foils. Wow, gotta be honest. Ten packs in. I feel like out of every ten packs, I at least hit one foil. So I gotta think we're getting at least one. Pacification array. Ah, slime requisitioner. Ugh. Oh, Pia Revolution. We got Pia Nalar in the first product. Pia's Revolution. She's pissed. She's swinging a hammer. And I'm pissed as well because this is a 35 cent rare. Ladies and gentlemen. Not the best. Not great. Ether Revolt. Um, okay. I gotta be honest. I feel like I might have been tainted a little bit. If you go all the way back to the Magic the Gathering versus Pokemon Challenge video, I think it's Kraken Packs episode seven or eight. I'm kind of just shooting, shooting off the barrel here. But uh, I gotta be honest, it has to be the best E3 Volt bundle on YouTube, possibly. Two Fatal Pushes, one Metallic Mimic, I believe, I'm not certain, but one Walking Ballista for sure. Uh, I got a Noxious Gear Hulk amongst some other good stuff. So I think it's like a $40, $50 box currently. Insane stuff. Um, this one's not looking as good, but uh, I gotta be honest, for $8 a box, if I complain, I am truly an asshole, but I'm not gonna do that right now, so. Cool! Uncommons, Gremlin, Airdrop, Crackdown Construct, and a blue. Brawl's Expertise, awesome. Um, good card, I play this in my Dynavolt Tower deck, I have at least one copy. You're returning three artifacts and or creatures to their owner's hands, which is great for five. Look little, little pricey, but you also may cast a card with converted mana cost four or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. So if you really break it down, you get to cost a basically play a card for four or less and cast this for one uh, and return three artifacts. That's kind of cool. Mini board wipe, Tezzeret emblem. In the grand scheme of things, you can probably get like a buck out of an emblem. Gotta be honest. Three packs left. All Ajani's. Nope, Ajani and uh, whatever that dude is. So, um, gotta be honest, kind of a brutal, brutal bundle so far. Not the best. Not the greatest. Uncommon slots. Three shots. What do we get? Fatal Push. Magali artwork. Amazing artwork. Scrapper Champion. It's a three colorless and a red. Um, I'm really trying to work on uh, getting a better camera 
I'm currently using the webcam, which kind of is not great, but a uh, double strike. We're getting when this card enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters, and whenever it Scrapper Champion attacks, you may pay two, and if you do put a 1-1 counter on this, meh, mm, mm, okay card, but artwork is truly stunning. I wish I could get a better shot of that in full screen. Actually, I'm cut to a full screen right now. Uh, boom, lost track. Boom, nice, nice, nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we just paid for the booster box. Excuse me, bundle, fatal push uncommon i mean let me know in the comments i mean i've been playing for like two years hardcore for two years um in magic's history has there ever been like you know in standard rotation has there been an eight nine ten dollar uncommon i don't think so i really don't iconic masters modern masters the best uncommon modern masters 2017 you're looking at like inquisition of kozilek uh path of exile those are like five seven dollar cards uh iconic thran dynamos like four bibles like six Dude, are you kidding me? In a standard product, modern, viable card, bang, fatal push. And boom! No. Damn, sorry. <laughs> not the right angel. This is the mythic angel. This is not the uh, angel of invention that shot up to like 13 bucks. Damn. But it is the mythic. And hey, that's something, right? Also, my favorite island on the Calabash block. Just love the artwork on these islands. Insane artwork absolutely insane artwork i'm not even gonna put the rare on the top i'm gonna put the fatal push on the top because ladies and gentlemen we just paid for our booster box bang bang two shots left what are we gonna get let's see i don't know i mean mythics i think the best mythic is the tezzeret planeswalker like i said eight to ten bucks currently at the time of this video not great best rare <sighs> ballista 16 bucks, 15, 16 bucks, which is great. And also Metallic Mimic, which is, I think it's 10. So there's some good cards. There's some good stuff left. Some good stuff left, ladies and gentlemen. And also, for my money, the best Masterpiece series, the Kaladesh Invention Masterpiece. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Amon Ket shit the bed and ruined it for everything. Um, I mean, these Masterpieces in the set are truly stunning. Trophy Mage, key elements in the Dynavolt Tower deck. Coming soon. And, okay. Okay. Sram Senior Edificer. Uh, one colorless, one white. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. Two drop. Two, two. Card draw. Put it in an artifact deck. Good times. Another copy of that favorite island that I got. Last pack of the video. Um, let's be honest here. We got... The fatal push we had the inspiring vantage from the first package uh, i feel good i'm not going to break the booster box in the bundle from eldritch moon for a minute it's going to be a little bit so i think um i'm really happy i feel really good like i said it's gonna be really hard to complain inspiring vantage will go in the dino deck last pack ladies and gentlemen what will we find hopefully something good the patented triple tap ripper open and let's have one last crack at greatness. Kaladesh comments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's a foil, right? My math's off, if I can count. Hopefully, hopefully my math's not off or I'll be really embarrassed right now. And I'll drink less beer next time. But uh, Malfast Revolutionary, Perilous Predicament. Poor man's Verger's Gear Hulk. And rare. I think we got the foil. Yeheni's expertise, not Yeheni. Um, not bad. All creatures get minus two, three until end of turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost three or less without paying its mana cost. And mountain. And I counted wrong. Son of a bitch, that's embarrassing. Um, not bad. Not bad. I gotta be honest, for eight bucks, storage solution. Storage solution. Die counts, die counter, spinner, spin down. Jeez, I can't even talk. Um, decent stuff, decent stuff, not great. Definitely got our money back. Fatal Push is amazing. SRAM, Yeheni, Amberall. We're getting uh, some, you know, fun cycle there. Not bad. Uh, thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. GameStop, how did you do? Let me know in the comments. Stay tuned, like I said uh, in previous videos, we're gonna be hitting the new year hard. Like I said, a uh, lot of cracking product right now, but, um, 
you know, builds are coming, brews are coming, gameplay is coming in the future. Uh, I got access to the arena beta. However, I am a Mac user. I've been doing MTGO through Parallels and it has not been the greatest experience. I do not know if I can get away with arena, but I will be streaming magic gameplay soon. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. My name is Dean. That's a six. And uh, I'll catch you on the next Kraken Packs.